Do you like the bolt to hold when you fall climbing? I know I do. Let's chat about what I look for before I trust a climbing bolt. We're going to talk common types, how they work, uh, how to check them, and some bolts that I would never trust. Climbing bolts is a subject that I am passionate about. I've spent way too much time over the last seven years researching bolts, talking about bolts, placing bolts, replacing bolts, testing bolts, and presenting about bolts. In this video, I thought I would condense some of that down into what I think all climbers should know about bolts. Before we get too deep into the subject, let me just say that climbing bolt failure is actually very rare. My belief is that climbing bolts are so overbuilt, by the time they get janky enough to fail, it's really obvious. Modern climbing bolts, if installed properly, are rated to at least 25 kilonewtons. In our testing, we've never been able to generate more than eight kilonewtons in a fall. Most falls are half that or less. So there's a significant margin of safety. I live in the US, I can't speak for the whole world. Here we have three main types of bolts. We have wedge bolts, sleeve bolts, and glue-in bolts. If you come to a bolt and there's threads sticking out above a nut, most likely that is a wedge bolt. Wedge bolts have this collar here around a wedge. They get pounded into the rock, and if it's good rock, any outward force is going to pull this collar over the wedge and engage the bolt more. As you can see, this is a pretty small engagement zone with the rock, so these are best for really good rock. If you come to a bolt where the head is flush with the hanger, in the US most likely that's a five piece sleeve bolt. Instead of having a nut outside of the rock, there is a nut in the bottom of the hole that when you tighten the bolt, it expands a sleeve. Sleeve bolts usually have greater engagement with the rock, so the rock doesn't need to be as perfect as wedge bolts. When you see a loop of metal sticking out of the rock like this, that's probably gonna be a glue-in bolt. Glue-in bolts use a two-part formula. When it's mixed together, it hardens and bonds the bolt with the rock. With the most engagement with the rock, glue-in bolts are suitable for all rock types that you can climb. Here are a few things that worry me when I inspect a bolt. The biggest one is movement. If the bolt itself moves in the hole, not necessarily the hanger, if the bolt is moving in the hole, uh, that means it's not engaged properly and that would really worry me. Another concern is rust. Rust means that the environment is actually eating that material and eventually it will get to the point where it fails. A little bit of surface rust really doesn't compromise the strength, but unfortunately you don't know what's going on inside that hole and with most bolts you really can't inspect that. If I see a rusty bolt, I usually replace it. Many of the bolts that I've replaced I'm sure were perfectly fine and you could take whippers on them all day. But if they're rusting, they're not going to stay that way forever. So I put in a more corrosion resistant solution like stainless steel or titanium. Impact damage. There's a local crag with routes right next to the river. When that river floods, some of those bolts are underwater and they can become bent like this. When there's enough force to cause deformation like this, it makes me wonder what happened to the bolt in the rock and the rock itself. If I saw this, it wouldn't make me feel warm and fuzzy. Improper installation, things like glue-in sticking really far out of the rock, hangers that aren't sitting flush, and threads that are sticking really far out above the nut. In of themselves, none of these things really compromise the strength of the placement all that much, but it means the installer really didn't know what they were doing and makes me wonder what else they did wrong that I can't see. If the bolt is too close to an edge, it could chip off that whole section of rock. If I saw a bolt this close to an edge, it would concern me. Spinning hangers. What does it mean when the hanger is moving on the bolt? This can happen in side to side falls or when the material of the bolt relaxes over time. Generally, it's not a big deal. Many climbers carry small wrenches or specialized nut tools to tighten the nut or the bolt back up. Be aware that if you use too large a wrench, you could generate enough force to break the bolt. My guideline is to go tight enough that the hanger is not moving on the rock. The concern is that the nut will spin off enough that the hanger will come off. 
or with five piece sleeve bolts that the bolt will unscrew from the nut in the bottom of the hole and come out. The most common failure that we've seen with glue ends is improper mixture. If this is wet at all, or if there's any movement, it means it didn't mix properly and you can probably just pull that bolt out of the rock. Here are some bolts that I would never trust. I have used them and will use them again in the future, I'm sure if I have no other option, because it's better to have a bolt that might fail than have no protection at all. These tiny and rusty things are button heads. I've had a handful of these just pop out of the wall when I tried to remove them. They would have totally failed under body weight. If you see something like this, I would look for another protection option. Uh, this is an SMC death hanger along with leaper hangers. These were the first climbing hangers and they have not really stood up well to the test of time. These can crack and fail under very low loads. What can you do to improve our climbing hardware? First of all, if you see a bolt that just gives you the heebie-jeebies, uh, let people know. If you don't know someone replacing bolts in your community, uh, online resources are great for letting people know about bad bolts. In the US, the American Safe Climbing Association uh, collects donation and then provides hardware which volunteers replace bad bolts with. If you'd like to learn more about climbing bolts, my friend Ryan Jinx and I have put together a ton of resources over at How Not To, including the Bolting Bible. You can nerd out to your heart's content. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you as you assess risk as you climb. We'll see you next time.